Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. One of the most powerful tools in MC Edit is using filters to get really difficult things done fast. This is where MC Edit comes to life. MC Edit ships with a few basic filters. I'm just going to show some of those guys off. So we have kind of an area here that doesn't have many trees, and I would like to add trees, but instead of making a selection, choosing wood, filling the selection with wood, choosing another selection, filling it with leaves, blah, 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 I don't want to do that. I just want this area to have lots and lots of trees. So let's go ahead and select it, select a big area, and you can see that my bottom area hasn't actually been selected, so let's go ahead and grab that. I actually can't see which one. Blue is at uh, blue's there, there we go, so let's go down. So now I have this small area selected. Let's go over to filters, and I'm going to use the Forester filter. Uh, this will allow you to add trees uh, very, very quickly. So let's move this tree count up to, let's say, 10. Tree height, let's bring it down to something reasonable like mm, 7. Height variation, I don't want it to be 12 because that would mean that that's uh, very, very tall or very short. So let's do that as, at three. And we can also choose what type of tree we want by building in these really interesting stuff. And you can see that there's other blocks other than just wood in here. So let's go ahead and make some birch trees. Uh, but let's have their leaves be, let's have something fun like diamond ore and uh, they will plant on grass. So you can tell we're getting a little bit crazy here. And let's go ahead and hit filter. And you can see that it has now created some diamond trees with birch wood and leaves made out of diamond ore. It looks like uh, some of these guys, because my foliage uh, branch density is pretty low, I may have created just some, some logs here. Now this is really cool because uh, you can, let's go over to this area, this uh, desert here. So let's make another selection, and this time it will be allowed to be planted on sand. There you go. And let's make this out of obsidian, and with the leaves of... Let's go with workbenches, tables, just because it's right there and it makes me laugh. Um, now, what's really cool is you can change the shape. So let's make something interesting like, let's do palm trees. This time, let's uh, raise the tree count. Let's lower the tree height to something like five and the height variation to something like two. And these don't even exist in game, but if you filter them in, there we go. Now we have obsidian palm trees with crazy workbenches as leaves. Really, really useful stuff that you can do with this filter. Next, let's cover topsoil. Topsoil will allow you to make changes to stuff that maybe you've screwed up over time. So as you can see here, um, I have these diamond blocks and this stone that I did in, in, uh, pre in a previous part of the videos, and so I'll go ahead and select this area. Let's make sure that we are low enough, because I'm not sure if we actually are. Oh, it looks like we are. And now I can add topsoil to this. So in my filter topsoil, we can do a depth of just one and grass and go ahead and filter this out. And now, oh, it actually didn't, uh, it doesn't use uh, diamond as a block that it needs to add topsoil to, but you could see that the stone, it went ahead and added a layer of grass, which was really, really useful. And so that way you don't have to go in and replant all of those things. There's some other filters like Change Mob Properties by Seth Bling, which uh, allows you to change mobs, which are represented by little red boxes in game. You can also create spawners, which is also made by Seth Bling, where you select an area uh, with the mob in it, and you will create a spawner with that type of mob in game. There's also Create Shop, which allows you to put a uh, a, a chest in game with the with the trades that you really want that shop to always have. Run the spawner, you'll get a villager with a store that has exactly those tradable items. There's a lot of also third-party 
filters that have all sorts of stuff in them. One of my favorites is uh, Create Mortars, which allows you to create a spawner that shoots something in a specific direction. So if you want to have arrows that always fire, like appear out of nowhere, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff to do. One thing that I want to show off with these third-party spawners is one of my favorites. This one is called Structure Spawner, and the first thing that we need to do is add it to our list because we don't have it installed. So here's how you install a filter. If you click the filter, the blue filter uh, thing, it will show you the file uh, which has all your filters. These are all Python scripts. So then you go to the web and download this Python script. I really do suggest checking out Seth Bling's MC Edit Filters page, there'll be a few other really awesome resources in our show notes. So once you download one of these Python scripts, you grab it and you throw it into uh, your folder. Um, I, this is adding it to an area, so you need to actually log in uh, as an admin over here on the Mac side, which is pretty simple. There we go, now it's copied in. Now uh, select away, select in. When you look in your area, there we are, Structure Spawner version two. So with this, let me go find a structure that I have made, which I should have created one over here. Here we go. There we are, here's my structure. And you can see um, at the moment, I've used some sort of exotic blocks that haven't been added into the game quite yet. But let me go ahead and select this, select over here. Uh, let me deselect what I have because it's uh, thinking all sorts of weird stuff. There we go. And let me actually nudge this down one block. Then I'm going to go into Filter, uh, Structure Spawner. Let me uh, change this to, yeah, I know, 5 is great. So let's keep that at 5. And I'm just going to hit Filter. And it's going to work on it. It's actually created those over here. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. So let me actually refilter this and add it to negative 5. There we are. Let's go ahead and filter that again. There we go, and I have sort of this extra bit of stuff over here. I'm gonna go ahead and save this out. Go ahead and jump into my Minecraft game. So this is the world we just created, and now we have these two structures. Uh, what this does is allows us to hit this button, and the structure we made gets destroyed. And there it is, it is all gone. And we can hit this second button back here. So I kind of spawned it in the middle of a, of a pool and bloop, 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 the structure is back. And this is all because of, uh, of Seth Bling's MC Edit filter, a really neat filter. Now, of course, um, just because a filter can be put into MC Edit, it doesn't mean that it's always perfect. We actually had some issues with uh, a few of the blocks, but now it seems to be working just great. In the next video, we are going to get into importing and exporting block data that can easily be used in MC Edit's built-in schematic tools. So we'll go over that. So see you in the next video.